play Emmy. 999. Fine gold would approve. Oh, let me... Okay, there's a few things I have to do. First of all, let's move my thing. Like that. Okay. And let's play E4. And... I think I'll, I'll get rid of the music. Even if it's like very peaceful sounding. Maybe later I'll do a straw poll to see whether people want this or not. But, okay, putting it back to standard. Let's play some normal opening. I'll play... I'll play a Spanish, because why not? And I'll take. Um, Toy the Noggin would approve of this. But I don't think Toilet Noggin is here. Hopefully other people approve. Bishop d6. Bishop d6, I think d4 should be played at some point. Maybe right now. Hello to people. M. Singer, Lonely Pawn. The Real Luck Duck. Henry SD, Prawn Sacrifice. Bishop g4, okay, being slightly aggressive. So if I take... Black would have to take the knight first. I take... Looks pretty reasonable for white. The bishop's kind of exposed on e5. Maybe some move like queen b3, and f4, or knight d2 to c4. So yeah, let's take. Because if bishop takes, I win a piece. So I'll take here. Now it's a question. Do I play queen b3? I mean, knight d2 to c4 looks very straightforward. Because this should come with tempo. And I have a nice structure already. That's the one benefit of playing the Exchange Roy. Just slightly better structure. Usually white is okay with trading. Knight c4, I allow the trade. Maybe queen b3. Defending and attacking. And preparing this or this. Whoa, casting queenside. That was not expected. I kind of like this move. I also like this move. If I play knight of three, I'm threatening bishop g5. I'm also maybe threatening just to take. Just watching you on YouTube. Just watching me on YouTube, Samsonite. Yeah, I posted a YouTube video like an hour ago of my. Uh, my Arena King's performance from like a month ago. I think the video already has like 500 views. Knight f3. Knight f3, black has to respond. I can win the bishop. Let's do this. I'm not sure whether this will be like positional or tactical. Or maybe both. Why does it say you're not online? Am I not online? Pretty sure I'm online. I'm making moves. And my opponent is making moves in response. Oh, is a leechess thing not detecting my stream? Oops. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's do this. Maybe it'll, it takes a moment or something. Okay, wait, knight h6, I have bishop g5. Tactics. Bishop g5. Pretty sure this is winning material. Yeah, knight h6 I think was just a blunder. Probably had to play h6, remove the queen or the bishop. Wait, you don't see me online on Twitch or on... Well, bishop takes h2. Or on leechess. On leechess. If I... 
Oh, it's detecting my stream. Maybe if I refresh, it's not showing here because I started the stream and then started the game like right away. But if I refresh, it should it should now say that I'm streaming. Sometimes it takes a moment. Flummox one two three, thanks for subbing for two months. Okay, so I'm up a piece. Oh, am I winning more material? E5? Here, here, takes, takes, and I win the rook in the end. So yeah, I'll just be up a full rook in the end. Hey, you finally caught a Twitch stream. Congratulations. Twitch streams are not as easy to catch as YouTube videos. All right, let's take a rook. And let's just simplify. In rook d1, go for the rook trade. What do you like to get at tie 202? Um, I refuse to sub again next month if I don't see g5 hash before oh then. Hee <laughs> hee. That he he at the end, that was great. Um, okay, so many things to address. What do I start with? G5 hash. G5 hash. Um, yeah, it's hard to like orchestrate like a very specific type of mate, but I could try. I'll try my best have to work for the, the resub. Okay, I'm threatening this and this. He defends, let's do this. So my favorite dish at tie 202 is sometimes always changing, but I do really like the, the chicken pod CU or the pineapple fried rice. It used to be the pod thai, but I haven't had pad thai in a while. Let's do this. Pod Kamau is also good. I haven't had something there Let's that isn't that good. Let's hear that laugh again. Hee hee. <laughs> I think it's worth the bits just to to have the the AI say hee hee. Okay, I want a back rank mate. I could play e6. I could maybe play this move. Hitting the rook. But also hitting the pawn. Ooh, let's play e6. I'm fantasizing about this, this, and then mate. Interesting. I think I'll just give away that pawn. Yeah, and now this. Queen takes c8 is a nice maiden too. Okay, that was nice. Exchange Roy. Um, yeah, black just fell victim to some simple tactic. Like knight of three was kind of an innocent developing move, but it had a, a threat to it which was missed. I mean, after h6 it's still a fight. Maybe I would end up taking and then playing positionally. I see Marvin asking if I'm taking challenges. Um, I guess I am. I have 11 pending challenges. If you're a sub, you can use uh, the leeches command to connect your leeches account to your Twitch name. Um, and then it should show a purple here, just like what, uh, what Messi Marvin did in the chat. Showing Messi Marvin offline. Okay, let's accept a game with Messi Marvin. And maybe he'll return. What does AMA in the tags mean? It's funny. <laughs> when you ask that question, you're you're exercising your AMA, right? AMA stands for ask me anything. 
So that's that's a valid question to ask. Okay, so I'm playing a slightly unusual London, so-called berry attack. My idea is to play h5 and maybe sack the exchange. h5 is a very standard move for black. Normally the idea for white is to just put a knight on e5 and be happy, and control the center. And we might end up trading on e2. Sometimes black will take, and then I'll take with bishop. Mm. Yeah, c5 is interesting. In similar positions when black plays c5, there's sometimes knight b5. But the combination of a6 and c5 is, uh, is very reasonable. I'm wondering if I can just take and be greedy. Can still go for this as well. I think I'll play knight e5. Because now black has to do something with the bishop. And I mean, in the meantime, ooh, can I take with knight? Makes some sense. I'll take with queen. My knight has some purpose here to pressure d5 and maybe someday prepare e4. But yeah, white's a bit ahead in development. Like very soon I might castle and play e4 or g4. I take on c5. Could take on c5, but then queen a5. I was calculating this, this this and then this. 94 could be very strong in the end. If I castle, I have to worry about c4, but then e4. Let's castle. So whenever your rooks are connected, it means you've completed the opening. So I've completed the opening, black has not completed the opening, which means I'm more developed. And maybe I can try and open the center. Because black's king, wherever it goes on the board, I'll have potential to attack, like on the queen side, on the king side, in the center. So I think e4 is a very thematic move here. There's actually a game, I don't know if I've shown this in I've shown this in an online lecture. I showed this in a St. Louis chess club lecture once, but it wasn't recorded, never made it to YouTube. Um, it was a game between Grishuk and Kusnudinov. And it was from the same opening, slightly different position, but um, the key moment was when White played e4, just to, uh, to completely bust open the position. Some of these questions I'm very confused about. Six Silly Sisters asking if I can show the challenges. Yeah, these are the people challenging me. I know you can't see all of them because I'm covering some of them, but there you are. Diamond cut is at the very end. B5. So B5. I could take on D5 and then just have every center square occupied. So if I take on d5, most likely black will take twice. And then I mean, maybe rook e1. Maybe I should play rook he1 first. I could also take this way first. I'm dreaming of some line like rook he1, b4 takes, uh, takes, 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 and then knight takes g6 and mating on e7. Yeah, let's start with rook e1. Very nice x-ray vision the e-file battery. Okay, I'm going to try and answer the non-disturbing questions. And also address some non-disturbing comments. I think his voice sounds really nice. Well, thank you. Bold. 
with many Ds. What if my opening involves a rook lift because I'm a very manly player? What if? I guess we'll never know. Favorite opening is black that isn't played much. Stafford Gambit. Or the Budapest Gambit. I like my, my aggressive and maybe slightly unsound Gambits. Especially against lower rated players. We'll definitely see some of those later in, uh, in Arena Kings. What was your largest or fastest rating boost? To what do you attribute this boost? Um, I think there were two standout moments. But okay, I mean, when I started playing chess, my first rating was 631. And then within the matter of like a year, I, I gained a, like 500 points. Um, but that's maybe not as impressive as some like later boosts where I gained perhaps a few hundred points um, at like a higher rating level. Castling is very respectable. Okay, but let's not try and show too much respect. I want to play g4. I feel like this game is ripe for a, a g5 mate. Someday. Some way. I mean, f3 is logical. Maybe g4 immediately. I'm liking g4 immediately. Because the knight, this knight's a bit overworked. It's doing so many jobs. And, I mean, ideally, also defending h5. So, I mean, it's a useful square for the knight, but at some point, the knight will have to either commit to going to d5 or taking on h5, and then something will fall. I'm realizing maybe I'm not going to achieve g5 mates if I'm potentially sacking my g-pawn or playing g5 too soon. My threat is probably to play g5 or maybe to take, probably just to take and open the g-file. Xander Shepard with a sub, that's a new name. Eric might be the only 10 minute blitz streamer. Is that what I am now? A 10 minute blitz streamer. This is actually considered rapid chess. I think anything 10 minutes or longer. Maybe other sites consider it blitz. HG4. So I could take this way. Now, yeah, now the knight will be removed one way or the other. If knight takes g4, queen takes g4, and then this is hit, and also h5 is coming. If knight takes e4, then I'll probably trade twice, hit the rook, rook a7, then still h5 ideas. Do I have a preference between rated and casual games for challenges? Not really. I mean, if you want rated, usually if it's rated, I take it a bit more seriously. Sometimes I just don't know if I'm playing like Zen mode. That doesn't tell me if it's rated or not. Oh, so I have an option here. I could take the knight first, or I could take the pawn first. Hmm. I'll probably take the knight. This way I keep some initiative. And probably queen takes, hit the rook. And h5 coming soon. Like the whole idea of the kingside attack is to open up files. So the g file is half open. I would like to make it fully open. Have more scope against the king. Yeah, that's expected. And this looks interesting. I 
idea of like knight e7. Yeah, let's do this. There's some weak squares. Like I'm I'm controlling c7 and e7 a lot more than uh, than black. His idea is a bishop d6. If I get in knight e7, king moves over, I play h5. There could very well be like potential mating ideas on the h file. Yeah, so knight e7. If king f8, I have bishop d6. So it's probably a choice between these two moves. If king h7, it's aligned with my queen, I can play this. If king h8, I still play this. Could get a bit weird. Let's we'll see what happens. Chess Poems is back. And DJ Rung congratulating me on Arena Kings. Yeah, that, that video was from like a month ago, but thank you. Since then, I have not been performing that well in, in Arena Kings. So Bishop D6. I mean, this looks very, very nice. Because now the king's stuck, and... Black can't take without losing everything. It is still a question how I mate. Maybe the knight will move to attack the bishop. There should be multiple ways to win this. Thanks for the host, chess phones. Oh, queen b6, that's a move. Oh, queen b6, can I have... Do I really have this move? Knight c8? Knight c8, so multi-purpose. Defending my bishop, threatening the queen, unleashing my bishop to check the king, and then also preventing the rooks from defending each other. So if knight c8, queen takes g6, I have queen takes e8 mate. And if king g8, I mean, I take the rook and then win the queen. Such a beautiful move. So checking, attacking the queen, and threatening maiden one. That was very thumbnail worthy. Nice game, Messi Marvin. I think the opening was fine for black, but something went terribly wrong, like at some point. Um, maybe even after like c4, the position became unpleasant, because e4, E4, I think black already has some issues. Might be better to leave the tension and play this. It's a bit more difficult for me to play E4 if uh, D4 is uh, attacked a few times. There's also Queen A5 immediately, which could be interesting. So the game... Is it Grishuk? Grishuk Kusnudinov. Um, we'll make a new study. Uh, center, pawn, brick. And the uh, London berry attack. So, oh, I have to go to the previous game. I'm just going to find my game here. So we'll copy the link address. And we'll add it as a new chapter. Actually, wait, let me call this study. Uh, E4. But E4 comes not on, on move one, but later in the game. Now I have, uh, I did a quick Google search of the Grishuk game. Now I'll grab the URL from this right here, copy, 
and then add as a new chapter. There we go. Okay, so um, if we compare like what happened in the game, I think e4. I think white should be better. Let's see what Stockfish says. If we go back here. I'm just saying castling immediately. The castling always runs into g4. If there's anything better. Okay, it's it's a playable position, I guess. But if we look at the um the Grisha game. A very similar structure. Like same uh, same sort of opening at least to start. And then, okay, maybe a few differences. But this position, again, e4. And the finish to this game was amazing. The e4, I mean, it, it opens up a lot more possibilities. Black Castle, if your takes, takes. Uh, really nice move for white. Rook h3. Someone was talking earlier about rook lifts and being manly. It's a very manly rook lift, I guess. Ideas of this and this. Um, but yeah, white just kept full initiative. And knight a7, beautiful move, threatening mate. And then queen f3, threatening the knight. So white was attacking from all directions. And bishop c7, the icing on the cake. So, um,. Yeah, if anyone wants to analyze on their own, I'll share the study link in the chat. But for now, let's move on.